and she's gonna end up sleeping with one of the Grimsmen before the night's over. I guarantee it. Hey guys, what's up? JT here, and it's time for seven people you meet. Uh, one of my friends is getting married, and I've been to quite a couple of weddings in my life. Weddings from all different races, genders, religions. I used to work at a catering company, and we mostly did weddings and bought it to us. So uh, I want to do a seven people you meet at a wedding. Number one is the bitter bridesmaid. She's always a bridesmaid, never a bride, and never the maid of honor. She's probably the one that got picked last just to even out the numbers in the wedding party. And she's going to end up sleeping with one of the groomsmen before the night's over. I guarantee. Number two is the drunk aunt. She is a freaking lush. Her middle name should be Merlot. She crashed a half a bottle of rosé in the car on the way to the wedding in the first place. She's super, super nosy. She wants to know who's the next to get married. Why isn't my son married? I wonder if he's gay. Yeah, she's that. She's that aunt. And then number three is her husband, that handsy uncle. He's creepy. He, he doesn't care how closely related you are or how far down the family tree you are. If you are over 18 and have boobs, you are right up his alley. And he doesn't care how old he gets. To him, he is always going to be a player. Number four is the frat groomsman. Now, this one can be tricky. Sometimes he could be like the best man or sometimes like the right hand wing man to the best man but not necessarily to the groom, but they all really hung out together, so they're all really, really good friends. But this guy is only at the wedding for the bar and the booze. That's it. He's there to get shit-faced. He's there to relive everything that happened at the bachelor party that the groom wishes he could put behind him. <laughs> and number five is the dancing queen. Now, she's friends with the bride, probably recently divorced or recently broken up, and this wedding is giving her a chance to go out, drink, have a good time. She's gonna be shit-faced by the time the cake cutting comes around, but she is gonna be the life of the party, baby. Number six is the golden child. Now, this is the aunt's favorite niece. This is the groom's favorite sister. She was the first one of all the groom's mom's kids to get married and now the groom's finally getting married and she's just been a great big sister being super supportive giving him great marriage advice she's just if it wasn't for the bride and the groom this would be her party number seven is the grumpy grandma now she's been to a lot of weddings in her day and some of them just aren't up to par and she is not afraid to let you know. She's a food critic, she's a wine critic, she's a dress critic, she's a choreography critic. Like, if everything isn't perfect, she's gonna let you know how she feels about it. Here are a couple of honorable mentions. The high school reunion crew. Now these are folks that the bride and groom invited that they haven't seen since their 10 year anniversary. They're here to party and rehash some of those old high school memories. Then there's the matchmaker, an old family friend, probably one of the father of the bride's business partners, and he's been trying to hook up his daughter and his son with folks from your dad's family for a long, long time. And then of course I could not leave off the list, the obsessive mother of the bride. Granted, her family didn't pay for anything. The groom's family paid for it all, but if everything isn't perfect, this lady is gonna go nuts. So watch out for her. <laughs> so give this video a big thumbs up if you know of or if you are any of these people. If I left any off the list or if you can think of any more, tell me about them down in the comments below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to me. You can add me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and Snapchat at jcadence. And you can also like my Facebook fan page, Jordan JT Tranberg. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This should be a little green subscribe button down at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead and click on it. Don't worry. I'll wait. If you want to see some more of the 7 People You Meet videos, then click right here. If you want to see me do a collab with Mama There Goes The Boys or we prank call in sick to jobs you don't even have, then you can click right here. 
And if you're watching this on mobile and you don't see any of these annotations, don't worry. All the links are down in the description box below. Make sure you click on the little eye up there. Those are the YouTube cards where you can see some more of my content. If you want to see my most recent video, then you can keep calm and click on the pink box. And remember, a thumbs up means you like me and a subscribe means you love me. And I love you too. And I'll see you guys next time. Do -do 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 -do.